So I don't know if you've ever had this feeling, but at some point in your life, might be 20 or 22 or 25, the quarter life crisis club or 30, 35, 50. But at one point and one day you woke up and you thought you'd be further in life. You thought you'd have that great relationship or you thought you would be making six figures or you thought you would be doing what you love and you aren't. Well, there's a silver lining and I wanna share it in this video here today. What's up you guys, it's Alex Hine here. So before we jump in, I've put together a free goal setting worksheet right below this video. It'll help you figure out how to have the best year ever of your life, as well as figure out not only what you want, but the exact daily habits to do to actually get there. So check it out right below this video. Six years ago, my life was very different. I remember idolizing someone that I saw online and I was watching these cliche Instagrammer vlogger pictures that they were posting online of just living abroad in Thailand. And I was wondering as I was sitting there at my miserable desk job, what were they doing that actually allowed them to do that? Because it seemed like if this was my only life, the fact that I was sitting in this nine to five, getting paid not even 40 grand, not even liking the job or even acquiring skills that would be useful later in my life, that I was literally just pissing away time. And that there was someone else my age living his dream life, right? Traveling all the time, swimming when he wanted, working when he wanted, with this amazing girl that he loved. And in general, it just seemed like he was actually living and I was only existing. And I couldn't reconcile this feeling that I had been working so many hours just to exist on a piece of land, just to repeat my miserable existence day in and day out for the rest of my life. It was around that time that I took action on changing my life. I decided I was just gonna do whatever I could with one hour per day. So I just dedicated one single hour per day towards my goals. Now, the rest is history. In the last six years, I went from having no YouTube channel to 400,000-ish subscribers and having a second YouTube channel. And sure, maybe you'll find a few videos older than four years, but those are like the welcome to my website, welcome to my channel, welcome to what I'm building type videos. There was no regular upload. I had no books. Now on Amazon, you'll see four or five books of my own. Two of them are full-length books with audiobooks, with Kindle and print versions. And I've never had a traditional publisher. I had no doctorate. Now I'm Dr. Alex and I have a private medical practice in Los Angeles. I had barely traveled. Maybe I had a solid 20 countries under my belt, but now it's over 60. And of course, in the intervening time, long-term relationships have ended and begun. But in general, my life is so different now, six years later, that you almost wouldn't even recognize it. And the craziest part is, from the outside, it might look like I'm special or that I'm different, but I'm here to say that I'm not. Now the reality is six years sounds like a long time, right? But six years is nothing for all the stuff you could achieve in that period of time. And I know you might be 25 having your quarter life crisis or 50 having your midlife crisis or 75 wondering if there's still enough time for you. I'm here to show you that you can change your life in just an hour a day. There's a famous story that I've shared here many times that it impacted me and so I keep feeling the need to share it but it's by a personal growth author named Earl Nightingale. Earl Nightingale shares the story of a man passing these steel workers during the Great Depression. Now these men had been out of work for a long time. So at lunch, they would often sit down, have these long lunches and just talk and complain and gossip. He passed these guys one day and they were complaining about not having enough work. And he said, you know, what were these guys doing who had been out of business for so long? I mean, in their free time over the last 10, 20 years, they literally could have become an open heart surgeon in that free time, acquiring new valuable skills. And he said that it only takes an hour a day to acquire new valuable skills. And within 10 years, dedicating one hour a day towards getting better at a specific skill set can put you in the upper single percentages of people in the world. Maybe you're watching this and your goal isn't to become the best archer or chess master or salsa dancer or surgeon. Maybe you just wanna be happy. Maybe you just wanna write a book or you wanna travel more or have money saved or find love. Well, it only took me an hour a day to write these four books that I've written on Amazon and made hundreds of thousands of dollars in royalties over the last five years. It's taken me less than an hour a day to put out these regular YouTube videos. It took me about an hour or two hours a day to build my business seven days a week. It took me an hour a day to learn various skills like salsa dancing or bachata dancing or rock climbing. It took me less than an hour a day to get fit. I mean, I've had a six pack for more than 10 years. I know a lot of people put in a lot more than an hour a day for that. 
And in reality, it very often doesn't take more than an hour a day to change your life. So wherever you are now, whether it is you're trying to find love or get a new friend group or get your life together in terms of fitness or finances, an hour solidly dedicated towards a clear goal is often all it takes to create that steady, steady growth. If you've seen the last six years of my journey and you're thinking, well, this guy is not normal or he had these gifts or these advantages, of course I have different gifts and advantages. But you know what I was doing that I see most people don't do? An hour a day towards my goals and my dreams every single day. And sometimes that's all it takes to change your life. So whether you are 22 or you are 65 and you're wondering, is it too late? I think you're gonna hear and my answer is pretty predictable. That's bullshit because you probably have an hour a day no matter your situation and it just takes an hour a day to change your life. The sooner you start writing every day, the sooner you have a book. The sooner you get into the gym, the sooner you have your dream body. And the sooner you start putting yourself out there more, the sooner you find love. It only takes an hour a day to change your life. So what's stopping you?